Hello VC, Vinyl Community, this is the Thrash Zombie uh, with a final update, finds, uh, purchases, pickups. I think I only have um, one uh, that's like new. A um, couple interesting stuff. I'm going to start with the new one I just got today. I was going to wait to do this final finds and pickups video. I had two coming in the mail. They are supposed to have both arrived today. I only got one. The other one's delayed because our post office is terrible apparently. So, but this one I got um, off of Amazon because I realized it's the only one I'm missing from their discography. Discography. And I don't have the CD, but I decided to get this instead. Um, look at that cover. <laughs> Jesus. Um, that's not even open yet. This is uh, Revocation, The Outer Ones. This is their latest album. This came out a few months ago, I think. Nope. Must be the uh, late last year. Looks like it's a gatefold. I don't know if it's uh, two or one. I believe. Look at that. Get my trusty. Open her out. Carefully slice this open. All right. Oh, listening to Gojira Magma today. There's the plastic. The record. It's got some stuff in there. <coughs> Let's see what's in here. It's just one one record. Is that it? Oh. Oh yeah. Download code. For Bandcamp, oh, and the record is done. One sec. Hello there. <laughs> so I dropped the phone if you guys didn't see. <laughs> it's okay though. Uh, so anyway, this is a download code. Nobody use it. Actually, you can if you really want to. I already have it, but on uh, the streaming service. Uh, so it comes with a download code. Um, comes with this. Looks like a poster. <coughs> it is a giant poster. That's the cover. One side and the other side is the band. For some reason I thought there was five members and there's only four. Huh. So there's that. How does this fold back up? It's... Never hang posters up, so. Okay. So there's that. Metal Blade does good with there. They got the polyline sleeves. The record. Feels like a 180 gram vinyl. Doesn't look like it's uh, warped or anything. Looks like I might have some scuffs, but you know, I swear that's typical with these newer uh, records. No scratches though or anything. So there's that. Revocation, the outer ones. Let's put this in a bag for now. as well. Done. Okay, these. Let's see, these, this, this, this. Okay. 
Wait. I forgot I had this one already, too. Let's do these. So this one I bought off a guy on Facebook that does uh, sale videos. I think his stuff's a little overpriced for some of his stuff. This was kind of cheap because it's got some ring wear. This is Cinderella's Night Songs. It's got ring wear. And at the bottom here. But I've been wanting to get a copy of this. It's got a little bit of ring wear on the back. Um, and he had it for, was it $15 maybe, I think? Uh, first pressing, I think he said. Or at least an earlier pressing. But I've been wanting to get a copy of these songs for a while. So, got that. And then these ones I found, these two, I found um, at, Cons at Consign and Design. Um, from the, you hear me mention Consign and Design a lot. Because the guy's got like thousands of records for sale. And a bunch of them are like really crappy condition. <coughs> so, this was from a different vendor that has a couple boxes of records. A lot of his are in crappy condition as well. They're cheaper though and nothing really of interest. Except these two are right in the front. First one I saw was uh, Rough Cut. Uh, Want You, Gold Stamp Promo. Uh, I think this was five or seven. One of them, one was five, one was seven. I don't remember which one is which. <clears throat> so, I think uh, somebody else, I think it was Ron, Ron Haggerty possibly showed uh, the first Rough Cut album, which isn't this one. And I'd never heard Rough Cut, and I just saw this, it was cheap. Well, I'll give him a shot. It's not terrible. It's good music. For five or seven dollars, whatever it was. Good find. And then this one I'd never heard of at all. Um, it's a punk band. Uh, the Anti Nowhere League. Live in Yugoslavia, so it's a live album. It's got... Um, I think, I don't know if, I think it's a U.S. pressing, apparently, I'm not sure, but it has a song in here, So What, which Metallica did for, um, a B-side on, what was it, one of, one, one release from either Justice For All or the Black Album. I think it was the Black Album. They, one of those songs. This was the B-side, So What? I think it was also on the Garage Days Inc. Inc. album as well. Pretty uh, graphic, disgusting song. And this one, certain parts were uh, buzzed out. But they swore other, in other songs, but like I think when they were talking about um, girls See you next Tuesdays. Uh, they, that was buzzed out, that word. I think that's what it was. But this is pretty good stuff. I'm not a real punk, huge punk fan. But it was, wasn't too bad. Listen to a little bit of punk. <coughs> um, what else here? We got these. <coughs> these were also from Consign and Design from the other guy that um, he had overpriced and crappy stuff, but Talking Heads, uh, Remain in Light, it was fairly cheap. I'm not sure how much it actually goes for. I mean, I looked it up and it's not a first pressing from what I can see on this, but it was okay priced. And then another Talking Heads, this is... Um, more songs about buildings and food. I noticed that um, Talking Heads sometimes go for a fair amount of money for like first pressings. I like the Talking Heads anyway. We had this one. I don't think I've ever heard any song on here. The Fix Phantoms. Um, fix is okay as well. One thing leads to another. It's fine. And this, I got at Newberry Comics. Um, they post pictures periodically if they get new vinyl in, like a whole 
collection or a stack, um, and they post pictures of them. Didn't say anything else of interest there, but this caught my eye because, as I mentioned in many, many of my videos, I'm not a huge fan of the band per se, but of the singer, and I'll buy and listen to anything the singer does if they're singing. That is uh, 10,000 Maniacs, Blind Man Zoo. I'm not sure how this is going to sound because it's digital recording um, of this album, I think. So, oh, and it's also a gold stamp promo. So I don't know how it's going to sound. It might sound digital on a record, but I didn't have this, so, and it's, it's got Natalie Merchant. I think. <laughs> I hope it does anyway. Because I don't think they did anything without Natalie Merchant, so. Yeah. It's Natalie Merchant. Yeah, Natalie Merchant. So yeah, I had to get it. And the rest of this is from um, the Listen Center. But they're not great finds, they're just interesting. And a couple bands I have never heard of, like this one, California Babylon. I looked it up before I bought it. It uh, says it's like uh, um, not progressive, uh, psych rock, noise rock. And I did listen to a couple songs on um, my phone, and it's, it's kind of weird stuff. It came with these papers. I don't know if they belong in here or not. This is, um, uh, looks like a mail order for certain stuff. A lot of bands I've never heard of. And whatever this is. <clears throat> Actually looks more like something somebody photocopied. I don't know. But yeah, so there's that. This is called uh, Fractic. Fact Trick to Zaza Live. It's kind of weird sounding. It's a nice, heavy kind of record. It's only like one, two, three, four, maybe seven songs, maybe five, six, I don't know. But I just thought it was interesting, something just to. I don't know. I don't even know why I bought it, but it was. Couple bucks. I just got this yesterday, so I'm still in the original sleeve and stuff. And these two are also interesting. These also said it was like uh, instrumental psych rock. One of them was electronic. Um, same band. Uh, Guara Dogs, I think is how you pronounce that. I don't know. This one's Thirst. This one's World Crunch. This is an EP. It's only four songs. This is a full length. It's got uh, eight songs. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never heard of this band. I'm a little worried, I think, about this one. I think I, this one felt like it was... might have had a little warp, maybe. Right there, I think. But I don't, I'm not sure. Might be fine. Like I said, I haven't cleaned these yet or anything. So, yeah. We'll see. Worst comes to worst, maybe somebody else will be interested in buying them.
one of these songs is 9 minutes and 13 seconds. I really hate these bags. It's like a freaking plastic bag, man. It's terrible. It's terrible, I say. Ugh. Anyway, and these I found at Listen uh, a couple weeks ago. This is a 12 inch single of uh, Pop Goes the World by Men Without Hats. I think um, David Michael, Naz Nomad, up in Canada, showed this. He found this at one point as well. I saw it, I was like, oh. I remember Men Without Hats, you know, the We Can Dance or whatever. Safety Dance is what it's called. This hasn't been cleaned either. <coughs> oh, yeah. And this one, which, don't laugh at me, but it's a single with five different versions of the song on it. And you just been Rick Rolled. Never gonna give you up. Rick Astley. It's got the uh, cake mix of it, the instrumental version, the original, Escape to New York mix version, and Escape from Newton mix. Um, yeah, I don't know. I listened to the first song already, the dance mix. Um, doesn't say how long they are. It's just 33 and a third RPMs too. <clears throat> but yeah, I just said, you know what, whatever. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those songs. It kind of makes you feel good. It's not the greatest song in the world, but. Makes you feel good. And this one is a live, uh, live album by Hall & Oates. Um, Rock and Soul Part 1. It's a compilation, basically. It's got Sarah Smile, She's Gone, Rich Girl, Kiss on My List, You Make My Dreams, Private Eyes, I Can't Go For That, No Can Do, Man Eater, One on One, Wait For Me, plus two new songs, which doesn't say what they are. I had never seen this before. Um, two songs are... Hmm. Doesn't say. Maybe it's... Adult Education? So I didn't see that on the back. It must be Adult Education is a new song. Say it isn't so. I don't know why they didn't put those on the jacket. Apparently they're not they're not all live, I guess. Just a couple of them are live. Uh, I guess wait for me is the only live thing on here. It's weird. I thought they were all live. Apparently not, even though it does say Recorded September 1983. I don't know. So, that is all my vinyl pickups and finds and whatnot. I really was hoping to have that other one show up today. But that'll have to wait until another time, I guess. So, that's it. Till next time, rock on.